being creative? What's up people, this is DJ Icon here back with another video tutorial with Mix Emergency. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to MIDI map your controller into Mix Emergency. Uh, I've looked over the forums, tried to find some videos of this, and the only one that I was able to locate was done uh, by Mix Emergency around two or three years ago, something like that. Uh, the process has since changed a little bit and I wanted to give you an update if anybody was having any kind of problems getting their controller to work. Uh, today I'm going to be using an Akai APC40. Uh, it is Ableton standalone controller uh, that works with everything inside of Ableton. Uh, when I play at the club, I use uh, Serato, obviously, with a Mix Emergency, with Ableton, with the bridge. Uh, with this particular controller, you can actually um, use it for MIDI in any program with all of those running. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do any of that today. I'm just going to show you particularly how to map it to Mix Emergency. So let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is cut the controller on. And then after that, you want to load up Mix Emergency. And that's one of the best things about this program, I think, is that it's its own standalone app. So if you're using Serato Video, you have to be connected to some type of, of Rain hardware just to get into it to to change anything which it, in, in all reality you can't really change a whole lot about that program anyway with mix emergency being its own application you can open it and change it and do what, whatever you want to do without anything else being hooked up which is great so to get into MIDI mode you click this MIDI button down here when you click it everything on the screen will turn red everything that is red can be MIDI mapped to some type of button knob slide uh, basically anything that that you have connected to it uh, so the first thing you want to do is uh, for, for the purpose of this video we will we, we will map this crossfader uh, you obviously wouldn't do this if you were out live but just so I can show you the difference we'll map it to the APC 40 so you go up and click on the crossfader it'll bring up this window here uh, on the N, Learn New Control is highlighted blue because that is exactly what it's doing. It is going to learn the control that we're telling it to use. On the Add Output here, really the only time you're going to be using this is if you are going out of Mix Emergency into another program. Um, most people are not going to use that, uh, but we'll look in here anyway. And then you have an Advanced button in here that has different notes that you can set it to, different channels. There's some controllers out there where you have to tell programs how to find it or how to use it. Uh, with APC40, that is not the case. So we have the crossfader selected inside the program. We move the corresponding slider on the APC40 and you can see that the crossfader starts to move. Now to get out of this and, and map something else or just get out of MIDI mode, all you have to do is click on something else that's red and then click it with another button or exit MIDI and you can see that this still this still continues to work so we'll go back into MIDI mode and the first thing we're going to concentrate on are the effects on the left deck uh, for the left deck I'm going to use these bank of knobs up here and for the right deck I'm going to use the bank of knobs on the bottom uh, that this first knob that you have here on the far left that says mix is almost like an overall opacity. So when you have an effect selected, if this knob is all the way down, you're not going to see any of the effect. And the higher you cut it up, the more drastic the effect will be on the screen. So we're going to click on this and mini map it to this first knob. So now our opacity is controlled by this knob and it'll be extremely easy to access and use. For these two user controlled parameters inside of the effect, for the first one we'll use this knob, and for the second one we'll use this third knob here. Now to select the actual effects, I found that it's easier if you use something that has a slider to it. Well I have three of them here, I have an effect on the left, I have a transition, and then I have an effect on the right. So we're going to use these three sliders here. 
So for the left side, we'll use number seven. So now the entire left side is mapped MIDI. So you can see that we have the overall mix here. If we want to select a different effect, we can move this slider. And then we, we can use these two knobs here to control both user parameters. Next, we're going to map the transitions. Same thing for the transitions. To select them, we will use this slide here. Now, for the parameters inside of this, you can actually utilize two different buttons. When you're on random, you're going to have a, a different control here as to what you're going to have when you have an effect that has an actual parameter you can control. So con to control this one, we're going to use this knob here. And then to get back into the random, we'll click it and we'll use this button here. So now when I turn this inside of random, it'll change to it, it'll change to everything randomly. And then when you're inside an actual effect with something you can adjust, you can move this knob here to change that parameter. We'll load up two videos real quick just to show you the difference of everything that's working. And we'll just let these play. That is really obnoxious. <laughs> All right, so next we need to do the right side. Same protocol here for the mix. We'll use this knob. For the user parameter, this one. Second parameter control, we'll use this one. To select the effect, we will use this slider here. We're gonna leave it on the strobe effect because I particularly like this. I believe I saw a video that Joshua Carl posted up and uh, he was talking about the cool things you could do with the strobe effect. A lot of times, in, well, all the time in electronic music, you'll have build-ups here and there. And it's nice to be able to have something where you can add a, a video build-up as well as an audio build-up. So yeah, this video is cool, but if you add an actual strobe to it, change the color, to white you can start it extremely slow and turn the mix up so you can really really see it and then as the build up goes on you can keep increasing the strobe and it there, I mean that's just one of the great effects inside of this program so I, I would strongly suggest that that in anybody that is Still using Serato Video would swap to this program. Uh, if, if you're still using Serato Video, I really don't know what you're doing. <laughs> um, but th this is just the, the next level in, in stepping up your video game, to be honest with you. Uh, Mix Emergency is a great program. And uh, if you have not made the purchase, um, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do it. Uh, as far as mini mapping goes, man, that's really basically it. Uh, you can apply this technique to anything else within this program. Uh, if you wanted to use this controller to say I have my logo right here for this image overlay, if you would like to add a button to control that, you can do so. I don't really see the need for that because there's just one button you can click, but if you want to do it, the option is there. And that's really basically it as far as Mix Emergency goes and MIDI mapping. If you guys have any other questions, uh, put them in the comment box below and I will respond as soon as possible. Please like and subscribe and I will continue to put these out as necessary and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks.